Yay! Here we are once again. Yes, I know. It is. It is Thursday today. Yes. I am right this time, it is Thursday. And uh, for some unknown reason, I, I, I feel like it's going to be one of those days today. I don't know why. I hope not. I hope it ends up being an, an okay kind of day. You know, nothing fucking surprising happens. But hey, whatever. These things are here to try us, aren't they? You know what I mean? But let's let's put a pin in that for now. It's got nothing to do with the fact that I left my front door open. It's got nothing to do with the fact that I had to drive back out and fetch me water because I left me really, well, I, didn't, I didn't pick the water up. And uh, being as how I, I got about eight bottles of it at home, um, I refused to pay unless I'm desperate <coughs> to pay the uh, the service. Well, I'll say services. Uh, w H Smith's fucking stupid price for a bottle of water. You know, I mean, they charge you two pound odd for a one bottle when you can get six for fucking three and a half quid. Fucking rip off bastards! But that's another that's another conversation, that is it? So we'll we'll put a pin in that, shall we? Oh, I'm back in the uh, in the truck with the uh, the fucked up door handle, yeah, which still hasn't been fixed. I, mean, I, don't know, I can't remember when it was now, but it's been a couple of weeks ago and I put a defect in for it. And the switch gear as well, the um, indicator switch gear, that hasn't been replaced yet, that's still fucked. Oh dear. Makes you wonder why I bother. It really does, fucks me off. Should have been done by now. Right, anyway, today I am off to Crick. What the fuck that is? Oh my god. Mm. That's gonna be interesting. Yes, I'm off to Crick. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Crick. Deliver to Crick. I think. Hang on. Did I actually say? It's got the. Ah, interesting. Yeah, it's got the, the postcode, which hasn't actually got the... Um, and it's also got the, the street name, but I don't remember the street name, I will be honest with you. So what I'm going to have to do is have a quick old snoop on the old uh, Google Maps. Just to see if it's where it's supposed to be. Because at the end of the day, you know what happens, though, you'll, you look at that and you think, oh, you do anyway, so it's, because of the way that the day has started already, I'm going to double check and then check again, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, space. Right. Yes, it is quick, so let's, let's go. Is it where I'm thinking it is? I've got a feeling it is right, mind you. Yeah, that's the one. If I go down yeah. Just just checking, just checking. It's always better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I want that door. I want that, I want that. Because I want to write that down. Uh, oh fuck's sake. Zero three seven four. Uh, right over there, out the road. The date is the 27th today. Yes, it is. 27th of the 10th. We're almost at Halloween. But not only are we almost at Halloween, we're almost a bonfire night. Yes. It might be around the corner of Halloween, but so is fucking November the 5th. Remember, remember, the 5th of November. All that sort of shit, like, you know, as it goes. Oh, dear. Have I got any more insights for you? I don't know. Um, <coughs> there weren't really much on YouTube this morning to talk about because it was a bit uh, a bit dull. Not much being uploaded. Um, I watched a bit of the old... Uh, 
um, Phil DeFranco, but because uh, it's uh, the American stuff and he's talking about the American stuff, some of it you just don't quite get. But uh, yeah, entertaining nonetheless, as you say. Uh, four on nine, four on nine. That's weird. Right. Almost done. I'm going to do my checks and shit, so we'll have all that sorted in a minute. Just sort of get this out of the way. See, I'm telling you, I'm having one of those fucking days today. I'm, I'm, honestly, I really am. Um, there is one thing that was on my mind yesterday, uh, which I forgot to mention, uh, about the, the conversation that we had. Um, watching that security team thing and uh, there was um, apparently there's up there's a certain amount of these stars that are communicating with each other apparently <clears throat> why is it necessarily communication though my uh, my thought on that and my theory on it was that uh, yes we see a signal from each one well a supposed signal from between each one but what happens uh, or what would happen if it turns out that it's not uh, from star to star, which is, cause there's a couple hundred of these apparently. Um, what happens if it's a transit system? Not just signal, well, it would be a signal, I suppose, if we would pick transit as a signal, maybe. But what happens if it's like um, some sort of transporter de device that's, yeah, you know, so they can beam from one planet to another, which is in one star to the next? I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, hey, check out Stargate. You know what I mean? It's it's there. The, the possibilities are endless. Because what you've got to remember is this, right? When we use our equipment to detect signals from up there, right, our equipment is only as good as we can make it. We don't know how good their equipment is. We don't know how their equipment works. We can only assume or theorise on what they've got up there. Yes, we might be able to detect something going on, but we don't know for sure what it is. But to say that it's it's some sort of communication between each other is a little bit to, uh, a bit of a leap. But it's you know a possibility. We always have to put that in there. A possibility, not an an exact. It's a possibility. It could be. Um, <clears throat> communication but why not it could be a transit system it could be people that are all well people it could be alien life forms that are using it as like a um, travel system you never know these signals that are bouncing from it they might be just average you know aliens going off on holiday oh we're going to travel to uh XSE montana today where's that oh it's about 15 light years that way Ah, oh, so you're having a month off, are you, mate? Yes, yes, we're going to get, we'll get there tomorrow and we'll have a month off, yes, no problem. But their month might be like, um, I don't know, six days long. Who knows? We just don't know this shit. You've got to use your imagination. <laughs> That's what I do, anyway. It's fucking great, Ed. Yeah, fucking superb. Absolutely. Ah, oh, dear. Well, that, that was something I was thinking about yesterday because I forgot to mention it. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple hundred stars up there that apparently there's signals that are bouncing from one to the other. So, yeah. I believe, and I would like to believe, that it may be a transit system. And uh, it's the, there could be holiday resorts. You don't know. We just don't know. Why has it got to be some sort of sinister thing? Why can't it be pleasant? There might, for all we know, right, there might be several you know, planets up there around these stars where these signals are coming from but there could be like <coughs> there may be a holiday holiday planet there might be an amusement park planet there might be a uh, adventure planet who knows at the end of the day you've got to put it out there as daft as it sounds you've got to put it out there and according to uh, the, the the internet apparently we're, we're in for an alien invasion sometime soon but hey that's you know that's to be seen yet, so anyway. I'm going to leave you, leave you with that tidbit. <laughs> and I will speak to you a lot later. So have a good morning. And uh, yeah, drive safe. Bye.